I'm trying to get in on Khalil's jail record. As in the jail history. As in historical pieces where all adds up, aligns and fits together, right? Historical jail record pieces pertaining to identity in relation to a young Relisha Rudd who went missing March 2014. Somebody somewhere would in fact have the jail record itself. And I'm thinking that would be what? I guess I'll, I'll allow you, the viewer, to figure that one out because I'm still trying to figure out all this. But yeah, the title of this video today is Khalil and Jail History. Yet we don't act, we we don't have access to his documents. No, we don't. All we have is Wikipedia. What else do we have? Uh, I mean, all we have, we we really have next to nothing, right? So. Let me see something right quick. Let me look at my notes. Dear CNN. <laughs> you know what? I myself would possibly never be caught dead in the center of an automobile. That's a play on words. And yet it's sad that Khalil has in fact died. Whatever was the point and direction as in the mystery, the answer pertaining to that. That was not a joke. And yet I'm trying to understand sometimes the decisions that some of these people make as in the why because that results in the conclusion as in the telling of the detail why somebody would do something so let me see something right quick oh by the way you know what i'm about to say like subscribe and the discovery channel yes the discovery channel the link is in fact provided below yes it is catch me if you can <laughs> so right here let me see wikipedia and wikipedia his criminal history includes burglary 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 is what that's almost yes almost like breaking and entering it's almost like one and the same and yet it's not burglary that it that's almost like to Go into a place despite you not having access, such as a key, but making your way in anyway. Who would want to do those sort of thing? I'm I'm saying never, you the viewer, never try to do something like that. That's not putting Khalil down, but these videos, some of the stuff that I say that offend people is in fact live and learn, such as life lessons. Life lessons in which even Oprah herself, Oprah Winfrey herself, the Oprah Winfrey show has been known to air life lessons as in the things you don't do and why. I'm an individual to stand right here and say what not to do because that sort of thing can in fact get you killed walking in somebody's house or business establishment in the form of say breaking and entering. Yes, that sort of thing could in fact, yes, await you. So let me see. He served time from 1993 to 2003. And again, from 2004 to 2011. That that that's the time frame in Wikipedia, right? And we all know that Wikipedia is not completely a factual. Wikipedia is known to be yes, altered by man, such as you and I. Or is that is that or is that not? I that is in fact a lesson as well. It's called education. Gain some. What I'm trying to say is Wikipedia a fact or is it not? I'll, I would have, instead of me, yes, filling in the gap, some things I don't feel I allow the space to be open. I want you, the viewer, to tell me, would you, in fact, yes, a viewer, have access to alter and do alterations to Wikipedia yourself? Wikipedia is known to say, have been altered by various individuals, and I mean all across the net pertaining to various individuals, even celebrities. So it, whatever is online sometimes is not always factual is what I'm trying to say. And even in college, they will tell you to cite your sources, right? But I'm not going to even go. So he was hired as a janitor. Khalil was hired to work at the shelter as a janitor. And the name, let me see, by community partnership. He was hired as a janitor by community partnership. That, yes, that is in, in fact, yes, who hired him. So the pre, hold on. For, okay, so yes, he was hired as a janitor. And this is in fact, I stated that on Wikipedia. He was hired as a janitor by Community Partnership for the Prevention of Homelessness, which is a contractor which 
operated the general shelter and other city homeless programs. See, with Khalil having the, the I stated this before, with Khalil having such a jail history as, as he did, it's in fact, I won't say a blessing by God or the universe, but it's a blessing from somewhere for even a Khalil to be able to obtain a job with having a, a history of burglary and breaking and entering because no place of business, it, it did not want to state where he broke into. That could in fact have been a business and no business establishment wouldn't want anyone such as in a future potential hiree or hire somebody that you want to hire working for you knowing they carry that sort of criminal background. So I'm thinking and sensing Khalil possibly, I stated that before, struggled with poverty because of his jail record. Yes, but breaking and entering is one of those things you would not want to do because see a uh, a, a business establishment to have a, a background say full of breaking and entering and burglary and larceny yet yeah, all that 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 will make an employer fear you as in them want not wanting to take the chance in hiring you because see to break and enter somewhere is to say if that business had if that business establishment is interested in hiring you and say they keep money around as in it being stored away somewhere on the actual job premises say in a vault or something it's to say a khalil tatum could have wanted if he wanted to to walk up in the premises despite him working there and say rob them people and take all the money out of out of the vault or somewhere where money would in fact be hidden that's more likely possibly why he couldn't get a job elsewhere. I'm thinking, I'm sensing, and yes, I'm, I'm sensing that, that more than likely the reason why he was even working at the shelter to begin with is because to, to mess yourself up in that type of form of fashion of crime. See, drugs is different. If he would have, say, gotten in trouble or something or was arrested and served time for dr drug, not only drug usage, but being a drug dealer or drug selling right that sort of thing would have affected him somewhat job wise but not completely he might have been forced to work where he was in fact working at the shelter right but employees in a sense they would somewhat view that a certain way as in to look at you like well i don't think we want him working for us because he did have a history in drug usage and drug possession but that's a totally different thing than say somebody you hire such as a khalil tatum say possibly you want to hire them and then think well you know one day you wake up going to work a ceo or somebody and he's now robbing you or something yes robbing you by gunpoint stuff like that happened i'm thinking with somebody because it didn't state either if he robbed um the locations of where he broke into the breaking and entering and burglary that doesn't i mean when you read something like that because some people don't look at they'll say well what's the burglary what was what was that that can oftentimes yes include a gun and yet sometimes not some people have been known to say uh take certain things in their hand that they can use and knock over somebody's head yes knock over somebody's head with blunt force and then not being a gun such as a, a nine millimeter or something like that but People wouldn't want to take a chance on you. I think if I was an employer or something, an employer, I possibly wouldn't want to take a chance on you. Because you might, in fact, follow me out to my car and do God knows what. Yes. Seeing seeing Khalil and, and accepting him for the criminal that he was pertaining to just him not having any fear. Because all human species should have a boundary. As in what to go into and what not to go into and why, right? Placing a boundary there, that keeps everybody safe. And yet the pass over the boundary line, such as an area crossing over the, the playing field line of a boundary to do some breaking and entering is to ask Khalil, why was you there in the first place? And not only that, who could have in fact been with him? Because see, oftentimes black males that's in fact people get mad let them stay mad when i say well black males and when they do robbery or breaking and entering they're in fact going in for something 
that's in fact truth i'm sure white and other nationalities do that as well but to be brown sitting here is for me to just state the facts i'm saying about whoever that cares that's not labeling black males because they're in fact some that are yes well educated right i myself is one of them despite me being a woman that's a joke and yet it's not right but i'm just saying i'm very masculine but and me saying this Anytime a black male plays a role of breaking and entering is to, in fact, say he's going into an establishment, whether, yes, an establishment, whether it's a home or a building to gain something. What will be the reason and the point of him breaking and entering in the first place or burglary? Why would you want to do that sort of thing? I can't see a black male figure walking into a, a place of business or somebody's home breaking and entering and then just going in there just to be going in there or just going in there to just beat on people and just drag them around there has to be a reason why as in an estimate the evidence detail where i'm looking into this he had to have been going in there to steal something and take something and yet to be going in there to do that sort of thing is to possibly say, say he might have needed or wanted somebody else to go with him. So who was in on these crimes with Khalil? That should have been my question at the opening, the opening aspect. Why am I? Why is my face tilted this way instead of not looking at you in the camera right? That's because my microphone is this way and I can't put it right here. Look, a condenser mic studio recording i have been known to do all that i in fact am known to do everything right but this microphone has to be over and not right here because how big it is but yeah so let me see i'm thinking somebody would have been with khalil and i'm gonna mention i'm gonna rewind back that as in the tape i'm gonna rewind it back in a little bit because i wanna let me look at these right quick my notes so let me see inmates I wonder if Khalil could have met any inmates on the inside of the jail. He served time. When 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 Khalil served time, I'm just wondering if he made friends with any inmates back in 2011. Because see, Relisha went missing March 2014. So anytime you start asking about Khalil's personal jail friends, at, as in who he might have met, you kind of want to set the date around right before or the year of when he got out close enough to when say Relisha went missing she went missing March 2014 and yet you want to question Khalil uh say his time period time frame of him getting out of jail being released 2011 you want to in fact set the date that close because you want to ask well what was Khalil doing and what was his life about and how long did he know Shamika during the time period as well as how well did he know Relisha and be around her during the time period of once he was released? Let me see. How? How? Let me see. I'm trying to think. That would be. I'm thinking. Okay. If I set the year around 2011, around his his release date, that will be in question of how old Relisha was, right? Because she went missing March 2014, and she was eight years old, right? But that's the question how old was she in 2011 and despite whether the mother did or did not live at that shelter in which khalil worked at when the child went missing it's still the question what did khalil do um when he was released from jail in 2011 not only that how close was he to release the child yes as well as to the child's mother possibly how close was he to release grandmother melissa as in how close was he all to the family? Yes, around the year that he got released. The date. Because that that's that's a that's a um what's the word for it? Where I tie stuff and string stuff together, right? Where some people um miss yes, the comprehension of people don't understand. Well, why would you say that to say that? Because that in fact ties together. The string 2011 to the year of when the child actually went missing is to say that the child could have, in fact, been with uh, Khalil a lot more before, such as right as soon as he got out of jail in 2011. Which is to say the child and Khalil, as well as Relisha's mother, Shamika, they all might have been interacting with one another right before he even went into jail before he went into jail and was released 2011 they there might have been in fact interaction and i'm i'm not knowing if there could have let me see 
been been phone records because I'm thinking Relisha would have in fact been a baby at that time. She would she would have more than likely have been a baby at that time, and yet was Shamika anywhere? Uh, say well, she wouldn't have been able to receive phone calls at the homeless shelter, but would she have been able to receive phone calls from Khalil? Despite her lying about her not knowing him and then coming out and saying that she knew him, what what um during the time when right before or somewhere around 2011, what Shamika had been receiving jail calls from Khalil on somebody's phone, on somebody's phone, such as Melissa Young, Shamika's mother, but that sort of thing had played out. A jail record and phone calls how they cost a lot of money and I'm gonna speak about that a little bit later but that would be showing and some that would show in fact show and tell something as well because that would in fact say Shamika knew the man longer in which she didn't state but then came out later and stated that she knew him much more well or something like that right but that's in fact where the lie stands as in begin and end where you say you don't know somebody and yet you do right so I'm thinking because she collect calls to come from a jail would more than likely have to be played out on a house phone and not at somebody's shelter because once again to live at a shelter is to get put out at a certain time and then yes a mother and child and then have to be told there's a curfew for you you have to come back in before the curfew yes nighttime leaving out in the daytime be being put out on the streets by the shelter itself and then saying you got a curfew that you got to make it in tonight by such and such time that's in fact what relisha and her mother had to go through as an endure right but i'm just a question that the phone calls any collect calls that khalil could have made and i question that too because with relisha looking so much like him and him being around a young girl to so say he might as much as he was around her, that's the might that's to say he might have had wanted access to the young child even through a collect call from the jail. Yes, from a jail cell. Not from a jail cell, but using the jail's phone. But okay, so let me see. Yeah, because see, a lot of times inmates do make friends while they're in jail. And they're depending on the you know, penitentiary staying at a penitentiary or whatnot right whatever you choose to call it right sometimes many of these men meet other individuals from all over the country and i'm thinking and sensing even khalil himself have had to do that because to serve time somewhere is to sometimes be placed as in you being an inmate being placed out of state with other grown men that you meet out on the on the field when they allow the inmates to go outside and say Khalil could have been standing outside becoming friends or making friends with other individuals that were out of state and say if those individuals were released from jail or something maybe they still have had have had access with one another Khalil and another inmate yes I repeat and I have to because to know that you're in a jail cell and you're eating with other individuals and they're from all over the United States, right? It's to say you possibly could still keep in contact with those men, whoever, when you're out of jail. And they might, in fact, be out of jail. Some people, in fact, leave jail before you do, as in their serving time and their time being up. And them just walking away and say you still just wanting to write letters or something while you stuck in jail. So that's why I'm asking. Let me see. Dum, 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 dum. yep and i ask that because seeming people question the sex trafficking aspect right i myself be thinking relisha is dead but maybe she's alive and possibly will be found who knows right but let me see just to question the the part of if she's still alive okay so if he met somebody in jail and say you know inmates come from all over the country to be in a jail sharing the same environment right they work out together in gym rooms and all the other stuff too there's bible classes some people in fact study college in jail there's all type of activities 
for um there's rehabilitation type of activities that they yes get together and mates together yes with a leader that actually or moderator or whoever that is in charge of those groups right and so the prison guards they in fact overlook all that so let me see i'm wondering if say sex trafficking that that question if say khalil would have met a another male possibly around his age i'm thinking and maybe not younger maybe much or much older but i'm thinking his age what if he would have met somebody in jail and say that individual had ties to yes ties to some sex trafficking or something whether in jail or out of jail khalil's inmate friend did anybody ever ask that question i'm i asked the right questions i should think about that you the viewer khalil khalil might have met somebody while in jail that was practicing sex trafficking or could have possibly been a sex trafficking leader ring leader of sex trafficking right and maybe he may have wanted to give the child off or something or something like that before Khalil died. Before Andrea and Khalil died. Maybe that was Khalil's ideal to just give Relisha off to that individual. We don't know. And yet the question is just said. So let me see. A criminal past. So a criminal past. Khalil and suicide. I question if Khalil's past of crime such as the breaking and entering as well as burglary could have yes could have gotten the best of him larceny that's another one breaking and entering breaking and entering burglary and larceny i speak country so forgive me on that one on that one but yes could could his past a, a such crime could it have gotten the best of him and i and i spoke about this in the opening of how you can ruin yourself in doing all type of crimes like that that can really mess you up and especially if you start having kids and is forced to pay child support i'm thinking good thing he didn't have no kids or maybe he did and yet never told andrea or some people how they have kids and keep it secret right i stated that there was nowhere about him having children anywhere right but that would have been a complete no-go even if relisha was his own child and daughter that would have messed him up because to not had a full financial means knowing you struggling with drugs right and which he did yes khalil did right but not only that trying to have the money for that as well as to be married and provide for a wife right and then you also provide and helping to provide and buying gifts for a child that is not yours such as relisha that would have been bad for him to have say had other children and children and them not be grown children and then he ain't got no money because he done messed up his his uh being able to get hired to make enough money to provide so yeah so that's what i'm wondering if if his if that criminal past could have got the best gotten the best of his mind because some people can't t take poverty they can't take i mean it eats away at their mind as in some people do commit suicide and want to be dead because they struggle every day even getting out of the bed going to work in the morning just to know that they still are not making enough or still feel like they behind some people feel like they pay one bill and then here comes another bill and then they pay another bill and here's another bill so it's almost like they're caught in the web and it makes you question if that was khalil knowing that um i watched an individual on youtube there's an individual that that i watched on youtube and the individual is always mad about a lot of things right yes and i think because even he has had a criminal history of things and he was forced to go open and operate his own business and yet nobody's really they won't really hire him they won't hire him if he take took the chance to do that sort of thing so that's why i'm in question let me see something really quick because of course you're not going to be able to search you're not going to be able to search on youtube or anywhere else for this man's history pertaining to some crime 
and even crime of passion if he killed Andrea. Crime of passion if he killed Andrea for that sort of thing, such as being in love and her not wanting him no more, right? You ain't gonna be able to find too much. Let me see, but. Just man, uh, he 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 messed himself all the way up. Like who doesn't make mistakes? We all do. To look at him is to to look at that man is to almost he almost looked like he couldn't even be a criminal. He doesn't even look like that sort of. He looked like in a sense how you look at photos because I look deep in the photos, right? to do marketing advertising yes it's to read a photo for what it is such as the face where it stands out and it holds a story all its own is to say khalil don't even look like that type of individual right and people do in fact change over time you give them so many years they're willing to change their hiccups or where they messed up as in they fade out as in let that sort of thing go and try to do something more um what's the word for it something to improve their life but so a lot of times like my mom says a history have have its way of following you right the bad things and bad deeds that you show so out in the world in fact come back around and sometimes mess you up to the point there's no coming out of the hole in that the jail record aspect people don't sometimes forget the things that you've done in the past so we don't know who this man is and the right reason why but he just the more i look at him he just does not look like that type i'm saying because he was like he was more in his 30s when he did a lot of the crimes that he did he was more so in his 30s right i'm in my 30s i'm in my more later 30s right going towards my 40s but what would I have did something crazy in my 30s or 28, 29 going into my 30s, something crazy against the law? I think not. And yet, who hasn't done crazy things? Some people are more prone to say not care and do things right and just do things and do it anyway. Right. Yeah. But it just it makes you question again, as I did before him being even 30 years old i'm thinking he would have had a friend or something or somebody been in cahoots to commit those type of crimes or something and then not him just doing stuff like that alone because 30 is in fact young some people feel that it's not but 80 years old is in fact old 80 and not 30 30 is to say you came and you graduated out of high school right and you, you got a chance to live a little bit. You made it past 21, that drinking age. But sometimes you do stuff just to be randomly doing it, such as stupid stuff, just to see if you could, in fact, do it and get away with it, right? And not everybody does. So maybe that was one of those situations or something. Some people, in fact, get a high or something from stealing. Yes, there's people, in fact that get a high from stealing which is why they do it but i'm thinking if that was if he was one of those type of individuals that got excited off of stealing or something like that he would have had numerous numerous records as in serving more time or something we don't even know about the jail history i mean the record of them keeping record of him and how many times he did what this that i mean photos like that look more like a mature man like as if as if he stopped what he has did in the past or something how you mature because there were things that i used to do in my past that was stupid like real stupid right but people mature so once you start maturing that's how you end up looking like he looks in these photos where you're like when i was looking at the photos i'm like wait a minute is the news trying to mislead me to think that this man was a full-blown not just child abductor but a killer as well as how they portrayed him when you see his face looking like this nowhere in that man's face looked like that sort of thing he looked like he might have been able to do that type of thing at a young age 
the crazy aspect how how the news portray you as being a full-blown criminal is what i'm trying to say as in the news is for ratings aspect a lot of news is always for ratings aspect so the point in position is to make somebody out bigger more criminal than sometimes they actually are and if you can't put two and two together you should in fact listen to me because i'm able to yes what did i say before i said what i said before pertaining to mass media Things is about ratings when it comes to the news. And so to see a face like this is to say, oh, that man can't be a criminal. He don't even look like a criminal. He looked like he could have been in his younger years and yet he completely grew up or something. When I'm saying criminal, I'm speaking on not the drug aspect, right? I'm speaking not even the sex trafficking, but that too. I'm speaking on the breaking and entering aspect of how you, how you, are working mass media such as cnn fox or whoever else right and you just make a breaking story about something and you do stuff for ratings in a way of saying stuff to sell something yes pertaining to where you are working at selling the story making it appear larger than life and saying that this man was just a full-blown thief in which he was but just putting it out there extremely big like he just was like scum of the earth or something like that right that that's a rating system behind it people don't they don't even allow that they just go with the news and go with everything it's saying and telling you that's mass media marketing they're trying to sell you to get you to buy so that you can continue watch them so they can continue to make money but i'm like no nah, something about that ain't right because see we all change over the years he could have still have been in fact practicing criminal activity once he came out of jail but i'm sure something have had to grow up something had somewhere have had to grow up with a khalil or something you do in fact still have people sell drugs until they're like dead old dead old but still alive dead old and in their grave despite them being alive and selling drugs and all type of other criminal type of stuff right but sometimes the way the news paint these people it just be like oh please let me please you're painting such and such like that i can see where the rating system has begun right so let me see You got to you you got to understand people got to understand mass media as in the the targeting audiences, targeting demographics, targeting I know how to do all that when it pertains to mass media. How you word things, how you say things, how you throw certain things into a story just to get millions of people to f watch it and all that other stuff, right? The larger than life effect that's why celebrities have such an effect on people in the mass media where the stories a lot of times aren't in fact real and yet it's worded in the way to get you to believe and make you tune in and be drawn into it. Mass media marketing. There's even political marketing pertaining to politics in the White House and when that's ran selling you a story of who's in the White House while they're in the White House but not really telling you the all what's up underneath that the branding aspect of political marketing Gover yes government and all the other stuff of uh, say obama and every single president but yeah so let me see okay we don't know his this man's history Yeah, because he his his history is laden with theft. Yeah, it is, right? It it is and yet yet the news is going to like amp that up. They have to. If they want to profit, that's how they're going to in fact amp it up. The story, that's not just Khalil, that's anybody. To gain a profit is to amp something up so extreme people ain't gonna want to turn because they're like oh my gosh oh my gosh the news in fact feeds on your emotions that's the point because emotion is all about selling to begin with
You can in fact tap into somebody's emotion where they don't even know that you're doing it is what I'm trying to say. That sort of thing, which is why you wouldn't want to watch the news all the time. Because see, to be having somebody such as a corporation constantly jacking into your emotional system, it's in fact over time lead to damage. Yes, you, over time, tapping into your emotional, where some stuff is supposed to be erect. Some things are supposed to be regulated, such as even the emotion system itself. That's in fact a true statement. You don't want to be constantly watching the news all day, feeling all type of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Some people do that all day. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, oh my God. Just read this, oh my God. You don't want to do that. You want to turn it off sometimes because their, their intention is to sell you something. Fox News, everybody else, CNN, it, that, that's, that's the point. But there's a way where you can do stuff where you're not doing all that like the way that I'm doing it. And yet this is too dry. The way that I'm doing this would in fact not make money at all. Because it, it's not, first of all, it's not, I'm not tapping into your emotions. No, I'm tapping into for you to be able to learn. And yet I don't even need to tap into your emotions to do that sort of thing because to learn is to use logic and reasoning in place of emotions. I'm not using feeling is what I'm trying to say. I'm detached from that aspect. But yeah, so I'm trying to, yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand why Khalil would have randomly just wanted to be stealing stuff. As in the why. He was young. Many young males, I said before, like to do that type of things. They like to have nice things to impress. And sometimes they will, in fact, go into somebody else's house without having the privilege or the courtesy and just take advantage of people's other people's house home. Household. And sometimes take over. Because I explained that situation some months back about how I was in my house and it was 1 o'clock in the morning. And my neighbor got, they was neighbor boys down the block. They tried to break in while I was in the house. It was 1, 1 30 in the morning. Like, who does that? People, sometimes they'll try to come in your house and completely put you out of the house. Like, kick you out on the front lawn and just leave you there to figure out the situation while they're raiding your house. And not only that, running out the house past you with all your material goods that you done worked hard for and paid for. That happened to my neighbor right next door when I was living in the house of where we was living at. They, in fact, put her out of her house she walked up into the driveway and they just, they stole, yes, yeah, stepped out of her house and ran right past her out of the driveway. Just sad. The things that people do. And they were more so in their late, let me see, mid to late 20s. So that is in fact a possibility. But there, that's no respect to go into somebody's place of home or business and just start in truth and taking what you want to and you haven't paid for it. That's how people get killed. So, where's that other picture? So, anytime, okay, so Khalil, they, okay, what you're not knowing, his jail history past, right? Pertaining to the crimes he've committed, such as breaking and entering, burglary and larceny, right? You don't you don't know the jail record, and yet, if I'm a viewer from far away looking into his situation, right? I would almost, in a sense, call that a first offense, despite it not being a first offense. But I'm just looking at his jail record to only serve two terms in jail the way that he did. I say first offense, despite it not being a first offense, because between the years of 1993 to 2003, let me see, how can I say this? What, what, what's the way for me to say this? It's almost to say, I'm wondering what was, I'm wondering what was the actual first crime. For me to say that to begin with what what could have been his very first crime for me to word this as a first offense as in what was his very first offense in itself i'm wondering 
could break in and entering have been his first offense or if he possibly had drug charges before and maybe those drug charges in his past say like a first offense of a drug charge maybe the the court or something like that tied that in with his breaking and entering and larceny and burglary to make him serve longer time than maybe he should or was going to serve. They do that as well. When it comes to jail record, if you if you had a first offense, but you keep doing this and you keep doing that and you keep doing this and you keep doing that, sooner or later you're going to serve time and you're not only going to serve time for, say, a breaking and entering and, and burglary and larceny, you're going to serve time for your drug charge as well and possibly everything else. but the first offense because because usually everybody that done served time in jail or even if they haven't but they got in trouble with the law many of them people a lot of times done had some type of first offense of some kind even if it was a warning or something a warning a don't do this no more why well, gotta go to court because of this this and that or whatever and a judge tell you well don't do this anymore i'm marking this as a first offense of some whatever kind of what you done did right the right and wrong aspect of some people what they don't want to face yeah he was he had to be 30 somewhere 30 years old because when he died he was 51 years old to break out a calendar is to break out a myth does that make sense? That don't make sense. Let me rewind back on that without an edit. So let me see. To break out a calculator, he his first crimes had to be have had to been in his thirties. Yes, yeah, so I got I got that right. But yet, what were they? So let me see. Two thousand four. Followed such two thousand four to to two thousand eleven. So let me see. I'm thinking, yeah. So, so who could have been the friend doing this crime work with Khalil, as in going to people's, as in walking with him, not hand by hand, but possibly shoulder to shoulder, to go in places of homes or businesses or wherever, to break her, break and enter, to take stuff. What was his other friend of Khalil and are they still around today? The other individual I'm speaking of. Somebody have, I'm thinking would have had to help him. And I stated that and I'm repeating and I should. Because this ties in to say where are they today? Are they alive or dead? Enough for even police or FBI, chief of police to want to go interview. Interview that individual despite them might be living in secrecy or possibly wide awake i don't know but could be standing amongst us in the community and police might in fact be riding and floating as well as walking and all that other stuff right past that sort of individual i'm thinking somewhere in all this somebody else hasn't been questioned and it might be a man or woman that was helping this man break into people's premises private property to break in private property is to in fact serve time so I'm thinking, hold on, why, why would I say, let me rewind back, why would I say that he need a man or woman to be with him? Because I just can't see a man just, see, manly men a lot of times when they go for stuff as in stealing, they're not going to just be going to steal small items. That, it, that wasn't, I'm sure it wasn't no jewelry store to go in there and buy, get a, not buy, but go steal a big old Rolex watch or something. I'm thinking it would it would possibly take planning as well as time, such as preparation to go break in anywhere or something. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know because I don't do those sort of things. But I'm thinking a manly man, the way that this man looked, would have wanted to steal more things. Possibly furniture or something. But not even that. Something something that's more valuable or worthy that could possibly even be resold. Which is why somebody will break in a place to begin with wouldn't you think to do some burglary larceny and all that other stuff could that be why he was going in to begin with to steal something to resell it somewhere could that have happened i want you the viewer to tell me because 
all the time you got people commit all type of crimes of all kinds that sometimes you don't see and hear about right and yet it's being done and yet that's just so odd to me to just want to go randomly into somebody's house that you don't know unless you're taking something stealing it such as a good and repackage it and selling it yourself or something like that I'm saying how street people, how sometimes there's, there's in fact in the hood of where I used to live at, people used to be trying to sell you Jordans and all that other stuff, right? And you're like, what in the world are they selling you this? Are they selling, I mean, they literally be standing outside the grocery store saying hi and bye to you, but trying to get you to sell stuff. And I'd be wondering in my mind, where did they get that? Like, did they go to Macy's and steal it? Where did they actually get those shirts and them shoes or them handbags or purses and stuff like that? It always make you question anytime you in the hood and where I live that was deeper than the hood itself. Where I live was in fact a pits of pits like up underneath the hood to be specific. But some of the stuff that people be trying to sell to you as they're standing outside of the store, it, it do make you in fact ask, where did they get that Louis Vuitton purse at? Where did they get that Gucci belt at? Where is this stuff coming from? Because this is high, high, um, high class stuff. And it, it ain't really a mark down, mark off type of product. What I'm saying is some of these people, when they be standing there, you be thinking to yourself, well, how, how did they afford this stuff in the first place? Where did they get it from? And not only that, what is the point of them selling it or whatever or whatever, right? It I, I ask those sort of questions anytime I'm greeted, even when people sell me whatever, right? Outside, outside of a grocery store. I ask those sort of questions because I'm thinking, okay, if it's Gucci and Louis Vuitton, why wouldn't you want to keep that for yourself? Or a handbag, a Gucci handbag or some Gucci shoes or or Louis Vuitton, whatever. Why wouldn't you want to keep that for yourself instead of selling it? Because we young people, those in fact be the individual selling it is young guys, right? Most young guys get into fashion as in a fashion statement. Is That's why I'm asking that. Why are you selling that? They could have, in fact, broken to somebody's house. We will never even know. I myself will never even know. And yet, that points into Khalil as well. Could he have been doing that sort of thing? Breaking in places and reselling it? Yes, whatever he was stealing. Because what would a grown man break into somebody's house or business and steal? What could be a product? Can't really take a washer and dryer out the front door. You might not even you might not even make it to the door. <laughs> the washer and dryer might in fact fall out your hands and fall through the floor as in touch the basement just from it falling because it's so heavy, right? What would a grown man be selling after he done did some breaking and entering? I can't even think of nothing. I would have to look around where I'm at to see what would be something. I can't even think. That's interesting to work, do marketing and advertising and not be able to think because that man looked like he was kind of not bul bulky, but somewhat not, uh, not muscular, but kind of, he did kind of look muscular or something in the form of fashion of say, being able to pick up something, a heavy weight or something to carry it out of a home in which he has broken into. Or business or something and so with me saying that sort of thing I'm just wondering was was Andrea involved in the breaking and entering with him seeming they knew each other for a long time Adria Tatum Andrea Tatum the the wife of his which can't became ex-wife he divorced her and she divorced him. It was more so her decision than his. She divorced him the month before uh, Relisha went missing. But I wonder if she was committing crimes with him. Breaking and entering. And never said. Maybe Gerald Wills will know about that. Gerald Wills. He shared. Gerald Wills shared Andrea with Khalil Tatum. They was all like. A triangle or whatnot to be a woman and have two men is to say anybody can die in that that's what I'm trying to say right 
But I'm wondering if she was doing breaking and entering with Khalil. Because to be, let me see, to be involved with a man and say they got married 1993. His first jail term was 1993. So either they got married right before he went to jail or they got married while he was in jail in jail because jails in fact allow you to do that sort of thing but when i look at the wedding photos the photos look as if they were married right before he went into jail they were married right before he went into jail and so you have to question even that he looks kind of masculine and yet he doesn't i'm saying he got more like fatty arm fatty tissue whatever up underneath that he got the necklace on like I got on right now. I, do I got on one of those, a herringbone. Do I got my herringbone on right? I got a herringbone. That's old school classic right there, the herringbone. Herringbone. Yes, it is. But, yeah, so I'm trying to think. 1993, their wedding picture showed that more than likely he got married to her right before he went into jail because... They were standing there looking at each other in the suit and she had on her wedding dress. So more than likely they weren't in jail. As in he wasn't locked away when they got married, I don't think. Because there's all type of creative ways that even the jail allow you to marry your soon to be spouse or potential spouse when you're locked up. That does in fact happen. People in fact do have sex while they're in jail. They're given a room. When you get married and you're in jail, you're in fact allowed to have room to have sexual whatever with one another. That's in fact a fact. So, but yeah, I'm thinking if you're a woman, if you, you've you known Khalil that long, being Andrea, if they would have wanted to commit crimes together. Because see, Andrea was a street woman to begin with. And yet... She, you know what? When I think about it, I'm thinking that's a good question because Andrea herself have had a a actual jail record, and I don't. I I tried to look up to see what it pertained to, if it was drugs or whatnot. But maybe that's too why Andrea had a drug uh, a jail record. Let me see. Khalil first went into jail in 1993 until 2003, and then he went in again from 2004 to 2011. Right. That man, stay, hold on. 2000, let me make sure. Not, okay, so, yeah, he went to jail from 1993 to 2003, and then again from 2004 to 2011. That's a long time to, to be in jail like that. But, and me saying that, Andrea was not in jail during the time when Khalil was serving time. I'm saying she didn't serve a, a long-term jail sentence the way that he did. Because as Gerald Will stated, he was taking care of Andrea. That's That was Andrea's boyfriend. She had a boyfriend on the side while she was also married with Khalil Tatum. And I'm thinking Khalil allowed her to do that. But Gerald Wills, yeah, was taking care of Andrea, right? But not only that, it shows that just Gerald Will saying that he was taking care of Andrea while Khalil was in jail. That shows that Andrea wasn't serving a jail term herself. She was, in fact, out. But still, she still has a jail record, which make you question, did she go to jail for drugs or did she go to jail somewhere pertaining to, say, her getting in trouble with Khalil in some time frame before he went to jail, as in them breaking and entering together? Something about that is not right. Something is not about, I'm saying something is not right because he went to jail and yet she didn't. He served two long terms and yet she didn't and yet she was a full-blown street woman and a drug addict at that could she have could she have did a breaking and in a breaking and entering situation with him and say maybe that was her first offense with that or something and then she didn't she wasn't forced to serve time could that have been the situation or do you think she just had the the drug record such as going to jail Yes, going to jail for drugs and possibly getting out. Some people go to jail as in they handcuffed and take t take they're taken to the actual jail, right? They might stay overnight. They got, you know, pose a bond or whatever situation, how that works out. Or even bail where they're allowed to get out the next day or something like that. That could have been 
a situation of hers or maybe she had a jail record even before she met him or was involved with him that's still the question so let me see inmate life in jail inmates are known to become close friends with prison guards and oftentimes too close such as a, a guard becoming friends with the inmate they do it all the time where guards are known to actually in fact buy cigarettes for inmates and stuff like that yeah commissary they call it commissary in jail where it's like the store that the jail owns and you can buy a toothbrush you can buy a soap you can buy snacks you can buy doritos you can buy a pepsi you can buy all type of stuff through commissary and sometimes say when inmates don't have money or whatnot or they need money sometimes they become friends with with not only just other inmates but um the prison guards as well they get on the they get on the good side of the prison guard so that they can actually get money from the guard and the guard might actually make them do something like an extra job as a way of paying them back or something that sort of thing goes on in jail too the inmates and stuff so inmates inmate life in jail inmates are known to become close friends with prison guards i stated that Prison guards work in jail cells and floors of the jail have been known to even provide drug sub substances. Prison guards are known a lot of times because they live not in the jail. They live outside of jail. Oftentimes, prison guards are known to bring jail substances into the actual jail to give to inmates. Did you know that or did you not know that sort of thing? The drug, what some people might say smuggling, smuggling some drugs, that sort of situation, right? That does in fact happen it, it it happens but not in the terminology of smuggling some drugs say as an inmate getting drugs somewhere off the street or having drugs in his possession such as some i don't know cocaine or something or crack or something and then handing it off to the inmate while he's in jail yeah that's not really it's smuggling but again it's not right so How many friends did Khalil have in jail? How many inmate friends could he have had in jail? And that I'm asking that because they will be able to recount and retell their experience of them either sharing a jail cell with him or the prison guards being able to say how his personality was while he was in jail. That's why I brought that up. The experience of how, how he interact with other inmates how he interact with with other prison guards how he interact if there was a fight or something how inmates fist fight how he interacted with that sort of thing who he would keep in connection with over the phone the jail phone because even guards stand and wait usually behind the inmates as they're using the jail phone to begin with so that they can't run up and escape out of jail usually the prison guards stand behind or somewhere right around the outside door of a room or where an inmate uses the jail phone to call out and they would know sometimes the outside connections as in who he's speaking with the inmate who who's the in who is the inmate keeping in con contact with yes because sometimes inmates when they become friends with prison guards they often tell that to the guard as in laugh and joke and pick fun at whoever you know they like or don't like that they're calling or making collect calls with or who they interact with on the outside world right that makes sense in a sense and it should so let me see what any of those prison guards want to keep anything secret about Khalil as in what he did what group he might have been a part of while he was serving time in jail there's groups where people have you know gang leaders and all that gang leaders that in fact goes down in jail as well sometimes even prison guards play a part of that too prison guards being uh members or something of of some type of not chain gang but gangs in itself and them not telling of what an individual wasn't part of because for whatever reason because people die in that type of situation, which is why somebody wouldn't want to tell or something. But yeah, I, I question that. 
not not question it of whether Khalil had a um what is it of not whether if Khalil had a um what's the word for it was involved with a gang no but if he had connections with one and say if a prison guard knew about that sort of thing that's a good question too what I just asked Yep, inmates are known to have conversations with the outside world, which is recorded by the jail facility itself. Could Khalil have had issues with anyone? Be, be, hold on, had issues between... Could he have had issues during the time at any time he served, like his term, when he was serving in jail? That's what I'm speaking on. That's what this video is about. Could he have been on the phone, the jail phone, and had issues with somebody? Didn't I just ask that question, but I'm asking it again. I'm just asking it in a different way. To make a point sometimes is to ask the same question, but ask it in different ways, right? Could he ha have had a, 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 what is it, a disagreement with somebody or some issues with somebody out in the outside world and yet was discussing it on the jail phone? enough to say maybe somebody over here or him going back and forth with somebody on the jail phone that sort of thing goes down day to day it does with jails and inmates of them getting on the phone arguing or whatever on the phone to somebody on the in the outside world and prison guards standing there overhearing it that's why i'm saying the secret part i'm sure many um what's the word for it I'm sure many prison guards keep stuff like that secret as in they don't say because they possibly wouldn't want no part of that. As in the drama over the phone. People might be serving terms over something that they might not shouldn't be there for. And yet they got themselves mixed up in something right and they want to get out of jail. <laughs> and the prison guard is standing there hearing it all, the detail, the arguments and all that. People possibly be threatening whoever going to kill somebody over the phone. You never know what prison guards are prone to hear as they're standing there that's why that's why too phone calls are recorded because people when they sell drugs and commit crimes or whatnot but let me see could khalil and andrea at any time had said gotten into a fight or argument over the jail phone over the jail phone that's a likely seeming she was loved and hated by many as her manager at the gym that gym she worked at stated that in his email when he was interviewed or whatnot yes for mass media purposes about how andrea was loved and hated by many as well as gerald wills andrea's boyfriend despite her having a husband who was khalil gerald wills stated too that he felt that khalil didn't really love andrea because if khalil really loved andrea then she wouldn't be dead so that's the argue that's in fact question that argument of did they argue at any time he was in jail the argument could have been about anything for a woman to be involved with two men is to say she might love one more than the other and then you got the one locked up in jail you don't know what the argument could have been about because remember Gerald will said he was taking care of her while Khalil was in jail that's what I'm saying that could at, could at any time Khalil and Andrea Tatum the wife of Tatum could have fallen out because I'm thinking even I'm thinking even other inmates would have known about that type of thing people in jail a lot of times when they got women they brag about the woman that they wear or whatever what the woman is doing or even if the woman is cheating on them a lot of times other inmates know about that type of thing because inmates are known to tell and even sometimes put pictures up on the wall of who they are involved with that's why I'm asking this question. But yeah, so inmates would in fact have known something. So I'm sensing through both jail terms in 1993 to 2003 and again from 20 or again from 2004 to 2011, Khalil would have wanted his mother and or father, possibly his family members to keep in touch with someone for him so that either one of them could pass messages along to whatever individual he requested them to give the information to does that make sense or does that not make sense i'm gonna read it again i said i'm sensing through both jail terms 
1993 to 2003, and again from 2004 through 2011, Khalil would have wanted his mother and or father or possibly even his family members to keep in touch with someone for him. But who? Because inmates do that all the time where they try to keep in touch from the inside and keep in touch with the outside world and yet sometimes they have their mother do it or sometimes their family members because remember collect calls costs a lot of money so it will be easier to go through a mother or father or a family member for a Khalil to be passing messages along to somebody whether it's to keep in touch with somebody that's in sex trafficking or what else whether it was another woman or something on the side or something like that you want to keep secret or something let me see i would question that as well you the viewer question of of could an inmate say khalil himself wanted to keep in touch with somebody in the outside world despite him being in jail and the best person to allow him to do that I'm thinking it will be his mother or his, his, what, mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, first cousin, maybe not second cousin, who knows. Some of us talk to our, our uh, distant relatives. Because to keep in touch with somebody on the outside is to say there's more information there, as in another individual, right? Chill. It's, it's more information there if it's if his if he kept had his mother keep in contact with somebody that was in contact with Relisha or something as in being able to say pass her off later that's why I'm asking this question right here to keep in contact if you are a guy and you in jail and you make collect calls to your mom your dad your sister brother father or even possibly first cousins is to have them pass messages along to somebody say where you're going to pass a little girl off her being eight years old or something but she wasn't eight years old during that time because that in a sense her age and all that progression came later but i'm saying when she was little you never know who was talking to who and why It's cheaper just to call one person and let them just pass anything you want to say. Saying when you make collect calls through a jail or something. Could even Khalil's oh, could even Khalil's mother and father be withholding information? I've asked this before. They never stated about his mother or his father. At all. Could the mother or father be withholding information? Khalil's mother or father. Could Khalil's childhood have been a mess for him to want to commit such crimes as he did? The breaking and entering and poor childhood, right? Some people do act out based upon childhood. Why is this all popping up on my screen? Could the breaking in what 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 I mean the childhood you asked that part too about Khalil's because nobody knows, right? Past lovers, that's the question as well. Past lovers pertaining to the jail history. Past lovers because see even men when they when they are let me see. I wonder if yeah, Andrea, that's the ex-wife. She became the ex-wife before she became killed because she filed for a divorce. But could more individuals have been there, says, say, such as been involved with Khalil as in cheating or something like that? That's the question I'm trying to say. Andrea. Could any females while he was in jail been in still contact with him such as past lovers from the past 
and him talking to them still up until his death that question you asked as well when i said about questioning at all angles this is like one of those oops this is like one of those questions of learning how to question something at all angles for somebody to go to jail and then they be married to a woman that has a boyfriend on the side right and yet you may or may not agree with it right and then you kill her but a child goes missing in that right is to ask the question of could he have been involved with somebody during the time he was involved with the woman that he killed during the time when he was in jail that's asking a question at all angles some people don't know how to question so that's why i'm asking and saying it like that for you to think and consider it's multiple peoples in in it peoples it's multiple people in it is what i'm trying to say steve wilkos did you see that on the screen the steve wilkos show that's all links he even has subscribed he has his oops he has his sub subscribe logo for the youtube let me pause this see that steve wilkos where you can actually subscribe youtube at steve at steve wilkos tv right here on youtube but that was an interesting question let me try to think if i say when i said at all angles because that in fact makes sense 1993 1993 you a man who gets married let me see you get married to a woman and then the woman continues to be involved with the former man that she was with such as a former lover she stays involved with him in a relationship while she marries you then you go to jail right and while you're in jail that other man is taking care of your wife right but that's who's to say whether or not you was involved with let me see whether you was involved you khalil tatum being involved with another woman before you went in and yet your wife may or may not know about it right does that make sense i just said that i said that for the third or fourth time she may or may not know about you being involved with a woman and so the reason why i'm saying that i tie that in because if a child goes missing it's to say somebody else could have been involved as well as a woman because men are known to cheat aren't they right not all of them but many so that's why you ask that when a child goes missing well who else could have been involved possibly somebody else that maybe a person may or may not have been cheating with you don't know until you actually ask i just did i asked that because khalil wasn't bad looking himself and not only that women are usually drawn to bad boys that's a given as in that's a known fact that your average woman is drawn to bad boys uh, so for a woman to, for a woman to allow to be have two men is to possibly say a man could have another woman or something like that who knows nobody knows and yet you still question you look you look at stuff like it's a box a box in fact has six different um what's the word for it a box in fact has six different sides so when you ask in questions you ask at six different angles in a sense like a rubik's cube a rubik's cube yes it has six sides it has the top can you see that it has the top the bottom a left a right as well as a front and a back that's a rubik's cube that's how you ask questions when it comes when it pertains to missing children look at steve wilkos he didn't care about anything about none and what she was saying at all he was not you see the look let me rewind back because <laughs> he knew he knew the game was set or whatever as in the trap about her where something is like not truthful or a lie or something that's messed up that's why that's why i keep saying that's why i feel many children are go completely unfound as in not found because you got mothers like this that play games with people 
they play games and then what people do is they have no interest of wanting to find your child because they figure you don't respect their time i'm saying law enforcement if i was a if i was an fbi agent or something like that and somebody was playing games like this woman right here i possibly may or may not look for her child as in help do that sort of thing because you withhold and then not only that you're playing games with people To play games is to just be left to figure it out yourself, I'm saying. Which could be why Relisha is still unfound. You never know what the situation is. Let me look something. These headphones are hurting my ears. They're blasting that all over in the in media. The Washington Post, SBS, Baltimore, that's the Washington area, WTOP.com, of the photos of how Relisha would have looked here in 2018. She's, in fact, in the top stories. That's how she would have looked in 2018. Maybe or maybe not. We don't fully know because the age progression photos I spoke on this in the last video yesterday, the age progression photos are not completely, it's a science in itself, but it's not completely specific. Specific. There's flaws in it, I'm trying to say. There's flaws in, in these age progression photos. Like you do the best you can with a photo and... Oh, let me turn this down. Age progression photos, you do what you can with what you got, even in a, and, and progress in a child's photo as in how they look and how they need to look and the purpose behind it and trying to find them. But that is not always, it's always, it's not always precise. I think she would have looked different than that photo right there. That's not a precise photo and yet it works, right? It does some, it serves something, justice or something in trying to find. But I don't think she would look like that, no. Not completely. It's the photo is kind of off or something. I think they should have did braids or something. I think they should have did braids or something or straighten their hair or something. I think if they would have straightened her hair or something like that, but it's workable, right? Isn't it? Most photos are because you can only guess how a person is going to look when they disappear, right? How they're going to look in the time frame of today. Her Wikipedia. Where is Relisha? I won't discredit a psychic when I click that. I won't discredit a psychic because I don't know her or what they do, right? But yeah, you never know. You never know. That is too bad. The question of where where is a lot of black and where's a lot of women going that live in the DC areas and why they're coming up missing? That's the all time question. Right now, what's the date? July 15th, 2018. That's the all time question by many individuals that live in the area because they don't want a lot of things to be happening, such as their own kids or whoever, nieces and nephews or whatever, to be going missing. Some feel that it's sex trafficking. It may be that sort of thing. It may not be that sort of thing. You do have the, what is it? You have organ harvesting. You have organ, organ harvesting. Not saying that's being practiced in that area, the D.C. area. Organ harvesting is where people, say, snatch you or whatnot or drug you. Such as you go on a date, a grown man, grown woman go on a date with somebody, right? 
and they drug you take you to a hotel and then they end up doing like a surgery but it's not in a surgical room right they just use a scalpel or whatnot and cut you open to take your body organs out harvesting they call it that's organ harvesting that could in fact be something that's going on in dc who knows it's only a guess but i don't think with relisha i don't think that sort of thing played out i just don't the orger somebody taking her for her organs or something i don't think that happened i don't think so no there's all type of things that happen in this world but that i don't think that's one of them because too many people was i mean i'm saying the individuals that was around her khalil during that time as well as the the mother and the grandmother it's just something else with that she's more than likely either dead or something else traffic like cc stated cc stated that right which is why i'm looking in the case into the case to begin with cc told me to do that sort of thing but yeah it's it's more to it that is off the hook that is so sad completely so let me go back i'm about to go back into the google search right quick because i love google i do where'd that photo go i'm gonna go down right quick i'm about to scroll down or scroll up which photo let me see amber alert i was just talking about that amber alert how amber alert is not the same like it used to be i mean it is it's an issue or something it's always since the beginning of time it's always been the issue with amber alert as in you receive messages right but then sometimes you don't but then a lot of times you don't i'm actually signed up for amber alert through my cell phone to get the actual message the alert and sometimes i get it once a year sometimes i don't get it at all i got one i think it was about two months ago when i got an amber alert but the last time I had got one before then was like a year before or two years before or something like that. So my thing is, what, a, what is the point of having that for public phone purposes if you're not going to alert somebody when there's an Amber Alert? That don't make sense to me. Because I'm sure it's, it's taxpayer money or something that goes for even that. The Amber Alert. What is, what's the point of having people sign up for it if you're not going to send anything? That's all I'm saying. That, don't, that doesn't make any type of sense. It possibly never will. Because that's how, how the people, that's how the public know. First of all, the reason why I'm saying that, public is already bombarded with information. Everything is digital online anyways. Right? And so you get it's getting to where where people my age and even the younger generation they're gonna be more so where they don't even turn on the tv at all and watch the news right and so the only way to really be able to see is if you're like online or something like that or using your phone as in text messages a lot i don't know it's something more about that the only other thing i can think about why they wouldn't want to alert you with amber alert constantly is because some people possibly might not want their phone blowing up for every child that goes missing seeming it is about i think it's like over six hundred thousand a year kids that go missing i think i got the numbers right i could be off some six hundred thousand children that go missing a year right that's a lot of kids and yet the majority of them kids are not in fact still missing many of them are in fact found it's only a small percentage out of say if you got six hundred thousand kids that go missing that's a large percentage but the majority of them are in fact found within the same time period or a few hours or so after they went missing so that's the majority of them being found right but then you got that other small percentage where they're still unfound but i'm thinking maybe with the amber alert they don't want to be constantly pinging your phone such as having you being hit with text messages, not text messages, the Amber Alert or say, well, now such and such is missing. Now this other kid is missing. Now that other kid is missing. Maybe they do that so to prevent you from unsubscribing or something. So it could be they just randomly send you an Amber Alert every other month or something. But I don't even get them that much. I get them at least about once a year or something. 
Who and who in their right mind did this picture? That makes no sense at all. Or maybe to them it does. What is the point of that picture? Is that to say sex slaving? Is that to say sex slavery in the Middle East? Maybe so. Who knows? But let me let me see something. Let me go down. The Amber Alert System. I'm just looking through some photos just to look and see. That photo could work for an art museum. It could. This photo right here could in fact work for an art museum. Let me move this over some. I think it's over enough. See, I got it. When it comes to me recording like this, recording my screen and the way that I do, I got to make sure I do stuff frame by frame. Meaning, I got to make sure everything is properly set in the video so that way when I get the point in that stuff, you can in fact see it. Three days ago, Missing Pieces on Twitter. I'm guessing you can follow that on Twitter, Missing Pieces. I'm doing a frame by frame, which means squares because I like squares, right? But I have to make sure that when I set stuff side by side on the screen, it all match up, like makes sense. As in not being out of place and stuff like that because when I was doing that Oprah Winfrey video, one of the photos or many of them wasn't even in just enough for you to be able to see what I was trying to show because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. That's why. This photo, that photo is so small. That's what I'm trying to say. Hold up, Ma, I have to, can you pause for a second? I just told my mom to pause for a second. I mean for you to pause for a second. Hold on. What'd you say? They want to eat or something. Okay, hold on, pause for a second, because I'm trying to screen record me so that I can upload it, the video. Can you close the door for a second? Thank you. That was my mom about my dogs, because my dogs want all my attention, and yet I'm almost done with this video. Let me see. The Steve Wilco show. That needs to be bigger as well. So I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna end this and I'll make the next video. I'm gonna make the next video tomorrow. Shamika Young. I just wanted to show some photos, some pictures. They had to search and rescue. They were out there trying to look and see what was going on and that's a good thing so discovery.com we are in fact at discovery.com that is where we're at discovery.com the screen see the logo in the top left corner or maybe you can't see it let me scroll down some. It's at the far left. That is, in fact, Discovery right there. Discovery.com. The link is provided below. I stated that in the beginning of the video. But on here, there's... Who is that? I always ask that. Is that Shaquille O'Neal? Yes, it is. Hello. So, you got the shows right here. Shows such as a show schedule when you click that that in fact drops down that is what it does the show schedule let me go back it's all type of good of the goods on here shark week is on the rise anybody know about the shark week it is in fact flavorable 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 did I say flavorful? Flavorable. So, yeah, right here. Shows. If you click that, all the shows are right here. For you to watch. As well as a schedule, which sits right here. For you to watch. There's also previews. If you, if you click watch live, you will gain that experience as well. 
what's this today today is july 15th see that where it says shark week i just lit it up right here shark week because it is in fact and that that right there who is who's the endorsement man i said his name before i told you who that was i'll leave you the viewer to figure it out sometimes it's best to not fill all gaps but allow the viewer to fill in as in for them to research because he's in a few videos i should have previewed one should i preview one or should i do that in another video i think i'll st stick to this screen and do that in another video but yeah you got Naked and Afraid, but first you got Shark Week. It's Shark Week, 30th anniversary. Celebrate, yes, yeah, celebrate with familiar faces like Craig Ferguson, Tracy Morgan, Andy Samberg, and more as we count down the 50 greatest, greatest Shark Week moments of all time. That's at 8 p.m. That is at 8 p.m. Naked and Afraid. And then Shark Week again. At 11.02 p.m. If you want to join the mailing list. This is where you will go. See where it says email. The learning channel. Yep. The learning channel. Animal Planet ID. That's Investigation Discovery. That is too where Relisha Rudd's story would fit. Sci. What does Sci speak for? Science channel. Science channel. Not science channel specifically, but science. That's what that speaks on. I'm scrolling down. See us? We're going through the motions, the movement aspect. All the titles is all right here. Anything you need. The age of aerospace. Catch the epic stories of innovation that shaped our future. Explore now. When you click that. It's going to take you so that you can see. It's got that NASA appeal. That it does. Popular shows, Street Outlaws. That's more of a that's more of like a masculine men show. Street Outlaws. I'm sure you have seen it if you tuned into the Discovery Channel before. That's a good one. go down further I think that's all to be said for this video I did a little miniature tour so that you could see that one but yeah so I'm trying to see what the next Relisha Rudd video is going to be because I was going to make the actual sex trafficking video right but I would have to look into statistics and all that but instead of me pre-writing that down I might just actually go through Google so that you can see for yourself instead of having it on paper it's just more easier just to go through and see as in a search the research aspect and a research team so that's all to be said about this video i'll be back tomorrow let me see something right here. travel and secrets i meant to i meant to post that in as in tie that in to this video today and yet i forgot but i'll leave that for the video for tomorrow so that's all for now that is completely it. And...